Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to uninstall TestNG from Eclipse IDE. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to Eclipse IDE where TestNG plugin is already installed. How to check whether TestNG plugin is already installed in this uh, Eclipse IDE editor. Just go to window and simply say show view and say other and search for TestNG. If you get this TestNG option, that means TestNG is already installed. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to uninstall TestNG from this Eclipse IDE. Okay. How to uninstall TestNG plugin from Eclipse IDE. For that, click on help, select install new software. You'll get this kind of dialog where you will see already installed option. Just click on that. You will get this dialog. Eclipse ID installation di details dialog. Here, search for test ng. And whatever that things that come when you search with test ng, all these things we have to uninstall one by one. Select this test ng and click on uninstall. Okay, you see the process is going on. Click on finish. It will ask you to restart. Multiple times it we have to restart for this. Okay, to uninstall test ng in our Eclipse ID, we have to restart multiple times. So for now, we have uninstalled one of the thing in TestNG. Then after that, let the Eclipse ID launch or restart. Once launched, again, go to help, click on again, install new software. Again, you will get the same dialog. Click on already installed again. And here you will get this dialog here, search for TestNG. Here only two things, earlier you got three things, now you got two things because one thing got uninstalled. Now select this one, second one, okay? And click on uninstall. The pro uninstallation process for this one is going on. It'll ask us to click on finish and then we'll give a dialog to restart again, okay? So once this progress is completed, it will ask, give a dialog to restart the Eclipse ID editor again, okay? Let's wait for that restart option to come. Restart option key, click on restart now. Now Eclipse ID will get restarted again for the second time during this process of uninstallation. You see, Eclipse ID is getting restarted here. As you can see, okay. Again, it got restarted. Now again, go to help. Okay, click on help. Click on install new software. For third time, click on already installed. Then you'll get that dialog. And here's filter, test ng. You'll get the only one option left out. Select that option and click on uninstall. This is the last step. Okay. The uninstallation process for the third thing is going on. Click on finish. And it will give you a restart option again. Once the progress is completed. You'll get a restart button here asking us to restart Eclipse ID like this. Click on restart now. And again, Eclipse ID will restart. So with this, we are done with uninstallation of TestNG plugin from Eclipse ID, but let's confirm. Okay. So to confirm that again, the Eclipse ID has to restart. Let's wait for the Eclipse ID to get restarted completely. Once the Eclipse ID got restarted, now, how to confirm whether uh, TestNG plugin has been successfully uninstalled from the Eclipse ID? For that, very simple. Click on window, show view, select other, and search for TestNG. If you are not getting anything, means TestNG plugin has been successfully and completely un got uninstalled from Eclipse ID editor. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.